Of what we dream Sweet memories So dear to us Who think of home John Wayne, playing against type movies Today we will take a look at some John Wayne movies where he played against type. His usual and much loved persona in most of his movies, especially westerns, he was the good guy. The character that stood for all that was right and just. Occasionally he stretched his acting skills and tried out some roles that were anti-heroes. Not so much a villain, but a flawed character that had to overcome some demons. But whatever he played, we all loved him. If you enjoy this video, Hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Stagecoach, 1939, Wayne's breakout role. He was one of an ensemble cast, all appearing as passengers on a stagecoach, traveling through dangerous Apache territory. It was the first of several cooperations with John Wayne and director John Ford. The Duke played outlaw, the Ringo Kid, opposite a saloon girl, Claire Trevor, a liquor salesman, and other colorful characters. Throughout the adventure, the passengers learned to rely on one another and not judge each other based on appearances. Mostly true for Wayne's charming rogue. The Wake of the Red Witch, 1948. A non-Western from Wayne. This movie finds him playing the corrupt and callous Captain Rowles, who scuttles the Red Witch after his employer, a Dutch shipping baron, steals and marries the woman he loves. Wayne's character is complicated a cruel man with an obsession with Angelique, often driven to drunken rages in which he beats his crew. The movie is seen through the eyes of a member of Rell's crew, Gig Young, who has a bird's eye view of his terrible behavior in the name of love. In Harm's Way, 1965, Wayne shares billing with Kirk Douglas in this naval drama. The pair played two naval maverick officers during Pearl Harbor, less the bravado typical of Duke's wartime movies. Wayne's Captain Torrey is undisciplined and often wins by luck rather than skill, causing him to be demoted, but forces him to reconcile with his estranged son. Whilst he strikes up a romance with a nurse, Patricia Neal, Commander Eddington, Douglas, has a mission for him that will help him salvage his reputation. The Longest Day, 1962, one of Duke's war movies of the early 60s, focusing on D-Day from the perspective of both the Allied and German Army's point of view. Wayne plays Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin Van Der Voort, shared the screen with an ensemble cast of famous actors including Henry Fonda, Robert Ryan, Robert Mitchum, Richard Burton, and Sean Connery. Van de Voort is a reflection of the film's overall feel, a simple, no-nonsense war movie shown through individuals who had served in World War II. As such, was not pro or anti-conflict, simply focused on showing the reality about war. The Sons of Katie Elder, 1965. Wayne stars alongside Dean Martin. Earl Holliman and Michael Anderson Jr. As four brothers set out on avenging their mother's death, they arrive to find their family ranch has been swindled from their deceased parents over a card game. Trouble follows them all around Clearwater, Texas until an epic showdown. Wayne, after surgery for lung cancer during the filming, gives a complex performance as a gunslinger and the eldest son. 
offering a view of the character he will play in his next movie with director Henry Hathaway in True Grit, for which he won an Oscar. Keep him out. The Sea Chase, 1955. Wayne often played heroes of World War II in his war movies. He played a German captain, Karl Ulrich, in The Sea Chase. Wayne doesn't use a German accent while he navigates away home while being pursued by British ships, but does his best to present a German officer who doesn't agree with Nazi politics, but is still perceived as the enemy. It's an interesting performance, coming across as an odd role for Wayne. Reap the Wild Wind, 1942. Cecil B. DeMille's epic found Wayne playing Captain Jack Stewart rivaling Ray Milan's Stephen Tolliver for the love of Paulette Goddard's Loxy Claiborne. Claiborne is a ship salvager in Florida who falls for Wayne's dashing captain after his vessel wrecks on the Key West shore. However, any romance they might pursue is interrupted by Tolliver, a lawyer who has designs on Loxy himself. Wayne walks the line between hero and anti-hero and coming across as a rogue more than anything else, complete with Wayne's trademark swagger. The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, 1962, one of Wayne's best movies and a western with all the intrigue of a film noir. Wayne plays gunslinger Tom Donifon, opposite James Stewart's Senator Ransom Stoddard. The Senator's platform revolves around who really shot the outlaw, Liberty Valance, and the film changes shape as Stoddard tells an audience at a funeral his origin story. Wayne's character is depicted as possibly dubious for his profession of professionally killing. But Stewart's lovable reputation as an actor is used to belie the possibility that he used Donifon's reputation as the man who truly shot Liberty Valance to his advantage. How the West Was Won, 1962. A Western epic composed of sections directed by Henry Hathaway, John Ford and George Marshall. Several members of the huge cast of stars, which include Henry Fonda, James Stewart, Debbie Reynolds, Gregory Peck, and many other actors played real historical figures, such as Wayne, who portrayed General William Sherman. At an earlier time, there might not have been the budget to cast so many famous Western stars, but in the early 60s, it became possible to bring them all together. Red River, 1948. Wayne played Thomas Dunson in Howard Hawke's Western Red River, about a tyrannical cattleman moving a herd to Missouri. The drive's the result of more than a decade of work, building up a herd from two head of cattle into 10,000, which will set Dunson up for life if he can get them to market. His cruelty over the course of the journey causes a mutiny among the men driving the cattle, started by his adopted son. Wayne often played heroes who could be one-dimensional. Hawks got a powerful sadistic performance out of Wayne. The feud with his son was heartbreaking. The Searchers, 1956. Wayne plays a wretched, callous and vengeful Ethan Edwards, a former Confederate soldier who embarks on a quest to rescue his niece, Debbie, after Comanche Indians raid the Edwards homestead, kill the rest of the family and kidnap the girls. Wayne's character in this Ford classic, a less than sympathetic anti-hero, still displays a semblance of grace in the cinematic scene that takes place six years after the Indian raid. Debbie, now 15, tells Ethan she wishes to live with the Comanches as a wife to the Indian who led the raid on Edward's homestead, despite Ethan's earlier vow to kill her rather than see her live as an Indian. He spares her life. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link's in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon.
Stand aside. Interesting facts about famous people.